Hey, Shalom, I'm on QMC, y'all about to Zah. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to y'all by Shema Shai. Double honor to the elders, great most, so much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth. Y'all by Shema Shai, by Shem Rakakudash, Brakatam Akim. I just want to do a real quick hit um, going into um, does it does it matter if you're in a big camp or or by yourself or, you know, you're with one or, or two or three other brothers, you know, a total of three in a in a camp, would would that um determine your salvation? Okay, if you're with the bigger camp, you know, or if you're just by yourself, you know, and the answer is no. It's it doesn't matter. Um, uh, how many uh bodies you have with you that is gonna determine if you're gonna be delivered? Okay. It's all about it's it's all about the the predestination. You have to be pre uh selected from the foundations of the earth in order to to uh endure through all the things that is spoken of in the scriptures that the elect would endure. Okay. And they're never gonna fall out. That's the thing. They they're just never gonna fall out, they're never gonna stop doing what they have to do in and out of the camera. Okay. And they're going to strive for the truth till death. And Lord willing, Yahweh Bashim Shai will fight for them. So this is Jeremiah 3 and 14. Turn, O backsliding children, saith Yahweh, for I am married unto you. And I will take you one of a city and two of a family. And I will bring you to Zion. Okay. So it don't matter if you're in a big camp, you know. Uh, that doesn't. That's not gonna determine whether you uh, are gonna make it or not. You know, it's that's just. Uh, I'm not saying that brothers that have big camps that they all can't be saved, but you can't look at things like that. You can't look at things uh, by numbers like that. You know, and this is the the proof right here, Jeremiah 3 and 14. You know, I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Because Israel is going to be as a little sanctuary, okay? Let me go ahead and find that one real quick. No, it's in the book of Ezekiel. Uh, sanctuary. Ezekiel eleven sixteen. Therefore saith thus saith Yahweh, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary, in the countries where they shall come. You see, therefore saith thus saith the Lord Power, I will even get even gather you from the people and as assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. You see, so uh, you can't look at things as by numbers. You just got to do the work. OK, go on to the highways and the byways, uh, rehearse the righteous acts. Um, uh, cut off the. Uh, you know, cut, cut. You got to cut yourself off from this world, man. You know, cut yourself off away from the flesh and um, stop serving um, these 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 false idols, these these uh these things that are out here that could ultimately get you destroyed, man. Women, your women, your children, family, friends, money, jobs, or even your own self, your own your own lusts. Okay, it's all about uh, uh sacrifice, you know, with the uh, broken contrite spirit, you know, humbleness and seeking Yahweh by Shemayahu's face. You know, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay? So it don't matter um, if you're in a big camp. You know, some guys may think because they're in the big camp that they're going to be saved. But it might it might not be that way, man. You know? So it's something that you have to really consider and uh, evaluate. You know, not saying that because you're in a big camp, separate yourself. And No, I'm not saying that. I'm just trying to... Uh, 
uh, use scriptures proving that the Most High has always dealt with the small sanctuary. He's dealt, he's dealt with the small uh, group of, of individuals, if not one individual, two individuals, three at the most. This is uh, in the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 18, in uh, verse 20. It says, uh, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. You see? There, yeah, Obashim al is in the midst of you, man, where two or three are gathered in his name. Okay? So, you, the thing that you need to be worried and concerned about is you doing the work, you pleasing you, how Obashim al with fear and trembling and having faith. The broken, contrite spirit, you know, and uh, don't don't be acting like you know everything because you really don't know what's going on. You don't know what the Most High has set up for you. You know, you gotta have a uh, your humble spirit. You gotta depend on your how about Shemuel Shabbat. At the same time, you have to have that uh that zeal, the eagerness of serving your how about Shemuel Shai. That's part of you meeting them halfway. He ain't gonna do all the work. You know, I can, I can, uh, um, keep giving fuel to a fire, but you know, if the, 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 the atmosphere ain't right, it's going to extinguish itself. You know what I'm saying? It's going to burn out. So you got to have everything, the necessary things to keep pushing. You got to meet it halfway. You got to meet your Bashmel Shah halfway in order for, for him to keep, uh, keeping you, uh, you know, on fire. Lit up, you know, it's a constant toiling, it's constant, man. You know, so you know, the most I don't deal like that, you know. So, I just wanted to bring that out real quick. I ain't making this video too long, you know, for brothers out there that may think because they're by themselves, or you know, even you know, brothers that, that are with larger camps that they think it's uh, that it's it's set, you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, you can't have that kind of mentality. Even when you're by yourself, you can't have the mentality of uh, the Lord ain't dealing with you or, you know, you're not good enough or nothing like that. Because that's just Satan, man. Trust me, I've been there many times. And brothers that know me, I've been, you know, out here, uh, you know, going on, you know, 10 years already and doing the work, you know, pretty much most of the time by myself and you know not saying that I'm like uh proud of that because I you know I do you know you know I had a, I, would, I do hope and pray that I had a you know have brothers around me constantly you know on a daily basis and but the most I don't have it set up that way for me you know what I'm saying so but for to encourage brothers you know you just got to do the work whether you're by yourself or with, you know, with, you're with 20, 30 brothers, whatever the case may be, you know, you can't have the mentality that because you're with the big camp, that, that that's the the verification of you being saved because that's not the truth. Scriptures say, he that endeareth to the end shall be saved. And one man can go there in that, there in at the narrow path one at a time. Only one man can go in at a time, so. I hope that was edifying. Till next, I want to say Shalom.